Hey! <laughs> How are you so, going? We're just you getting ready for you. We're so excited. <laughs> <laughs> have you have, have you had a good day? Did you watch the show earlier? Oh, we We've did. Been watching We've been watching. Time. Watching and learning. <laughs> we were getting some pointers before we started. That's we set our camera up just like you. We wanted to copy. You. We were like, we love his angle. Okay, yeah, it's kind of nice where you kind of got your, you know, your, your, your head in there a little bit where you can sort of, you know, get but a bit you of hop out when it's point. important for their Kamado Joe. Ah. Yeah, we got our cow hats on. <laughs> <laughs> a little hot out here. I don't know how long this will last, but it's a look. Wow. Wow. Cow steaks. How do you know cow steaks? So tell us, what, what, what are you doing? Cow steaks. What are you cooking? Oh, let us tell you about so, cow steaks. <laughs> so we <laughs> met them about a year ago um, at the Greenwich uh, Wine and Food Festival. And it is quite honestly the best meat you will ever have in your life. You're going to need you're going to need to try some. Um, but they are you met first and then made me. Yeah, try it. I met them first um, and then told Julia all about it. They're out of Oakland, Iowa. Family yeah. owned and operated for 125 years, which I love. And wow. honestly, you can talk about it all day, but the meat speaks for itself. Once you so try good. it, you like will never have anything else. Yeah. Is it is is it a particular breed or, or, or what what have they done? What makes it so special? Well, they were the first to bring <laughs> over. Um, <laughs> yeah. So so they uh, the owners are nice enough to send us some amazing wagyu here. You wanna you wanna look yeah, at it? Yeah. Look at oh. I mean, give us a bite. <laughs> Look yeah, at look this. at this. Look at this, y'all. Oh, Is there no marbling on that? Yet. Wow. That's rude. I can't eat this raw. Or maybe I can. Who knows? <laughs> it might yeah. still, honestly, be delicious. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, uh, I never really understood, I guess, like the taster, mm -hmm. like quality of meat until I dined with For the importance the of owner. Where... Yeah, the importance of, you know, where you get your meat from, like the farm, how everything's made, um, mm -hmm. et cetera. But uh, when I would eat with them, you know, they'd get so frustrated that the bartenders and um, waiters, mm -hmm. you would ask them, like, where's their meat from? And they would have no idea. But everyone always knew where their wine was from. And so, yeah, that's like a must know, but meat is never. Yeah. So you just, everyone always cares where their wine is from. So you should also know where your meat is coming from. Um, yeah. Their water supply out there in Iowa um, mm -hmm. is like yeah. the most fresh, fresh water, um, all the they have like the most, they maintain the most like healthy yeah. diet. Like most like, all natural yeah. healthy diet. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. a little hot over here, by the way. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> what's your weather like? <laughs> well, I don't, know if you, I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of like wet. Oh, it's a little it's drizzle. Like, yeah, a little drizzle. It's, it's... Yeah. Let's pretend it's raining here and that's the water on our face, okay? this. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Everyone's excited to know. Okay, we've you. known each other 17 years. Christy actually started Blonde to Eat, so you yeah. take it away. <laughs> it's all you. It's her baby. I'm just. I'm so just you're gonna that. judge us, but um, it wasn't originally called Blonde to Eat. It was a uh, called I Happy Meals it. for Days because uh, we she have a weird love for McDonald's. For McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Judge us later because you know what? We like McDonald's and we like Wagyu. <laughs> it's, you know, it's all about balancing. It's all about balance. So, you know, but yeah, we so. like it all. Um, and so we started out in Dallas, Texas. Um, yeah. We really took off moving to Los Angeles. Food Beast, who are huge now, I think over a million followers, they kind of took us under their wing and we just started growing. You know, started growing. Um, it's been so much fun. Found a lot of blondes who love Found to eat. a lot of, you know, <laughs> blondes who. Who Why are tea? conveniently located in different cities as well. So we're taking over the little uh, areas. Uh, I like the idea. It's kind of like a franchise. Yeah. yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> yeah if it weren't so hot, we'd be wearing our blonde suit yeah. sweatshirts, which we have merch sweating? of, but we can't it's, wear them right and now. And we're like standing next to a hot grill. Nice little Kamado Joe. Sponsor yeah. us. Yeah. Spon <laughs> Please sponsor us. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? How'd you start? Are you the barbecue well, master in London? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if you noticed, but uh, I'm originally Australian. So uh, I've been over in London oh, for right. 20 years. How's there were that? a lot of accents going on on your live before, by the way. I was trying to place, and I'm like, I give up. 
right, so Australia and then? Yeah, so you got me that's Australian, you got Jack that's English, sort of type of English fella. And then you had uh, Dave from Scotland. He, he, he's Scottish. He, that's, you know, if you, he needs subtitles. Don't get us started. <laughs> <laughs> These but, US girls are like, yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, you, you, you guys are coming through loud and clear. I can totally understand. So I started it about five years ago here in London, just cooking grills with actually another guy, and he's a barbecue lad mate, and he's back in Australia now. So. Um, yeah, we just started. We just wanted to promote culture of barbecue and, and grilling and, and the flavor of the food and, and, and not just cooking, but also to the the uh, the environment, you know, invite your friends, mm -hmm. a sense of sort of, you know, camaraderie, the sort of party, the, the hang out, just, just, just chill out and, and invite your neighbors around, that sort of thing. So Exactly. I love that. No better way to bring people together than food. So that's it's, why it's my it's favorite thing. Always room about. at our table. It's, exactly. <laughs> if whoever will come sit with us is always invited to Yeah, our you table. might not want to sit at our table, but it's open. <laughs> so <laughs> dye my hair blonde. What'd you say? I might have to dye my hair blonde. We'll get you a wig. Yeah, we'll we'll <laughs> make some exceptions. Here, we go there, we'll bring you a wig. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then as as and yeah, so I I do a similar thing. I well I I cook a bit more on the barbecue and that sort of thing, you know. I I learn so much. Uh, no, I, uh, you know, meet lots of barbecue guys. You know, there's really, really cool people. I've watched a lot of stuff from the USA. There's a lot of different styles. Uh, I love For sure. you. We've got asado. We've got South Americans, all sorts of stuff, sort of barbecuing different styles, Aussies, etc. It's so awesome to see, and it's so awesome to just give it a go yourself. And then a little, little bit like you guys, too. I don't mind going around to a barbecue restaurant or a, uh, a you know, a steakhouse every now and then. And, uh, yeah, for sure. You know, uh, 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 enjoying a feast that somebody else cooks as well. So I like cooking it, eating it. And it talking. tastes different when you don't have to work for it. <laughs> so, so what's your take on Wagyu? Oh, my take? Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful, yeah. I've tried a few different things. Have you tried the uh, WKS? Have you had one of those? No. Oh, no, no, tell me more. Yeah. <laughs> tell me more. Tell wag... us why we have to. Wagyu katsu sandwich. No, Look I've up. always Wait. wanted to have that. I always Is see that on Wagyu Mafia. Yeah. That's... A pop -up. Is that where you saw it from? I always see that. So I... I'm dying to try one. I was actually supposed to be in Japan um, yeah. for the Olympics on my 30th birthday, but you know, then the world decided to. Give a big screw you. Until next year. We'll get it next year. So here we are. Um, but no, I have never had one. I'm dying to try one. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, I, I, I tried replicating one here. I doubt it's as good as Wagyu Mafia's one, but uh, it was pretty sensational, I must say. You know, mm. you like Wagyu. It, it, it's, it's a wonderful, uh, uh, buttery, flavory, soft, tender meat. Oh. There's a lot of different combinations. There's a lot of different styles. There's a lot of different mixed breeds as well. That you can you can try it like you got like you ladies say there's uh, you know beef is like wine you got to look up its providence you got to look up where it's from you know if a cow steep hill or a, a flat plate you know a flat bit of land you know and what they ate it makes a big big difference and uh, yeah yeah and these these uh cows at cow um, can eat whatever they want they just get to roam free. Yeah. Great, yeah. Grace. Grace. Um, so that's another thing that, that makes them different than other, like than a, other farms that are specifically Don, fed something order, that Order McDonald's in, stuff like that, you know. Okay, I'm not a McDonald's. I knew that fan, was gonna but... I knew that was gonna screw me over. <laughs> it's like we're talking don't, about great quality don't. meat, but let's bring up McDonald's while we're at it. You, I mean, hey, that's how we started, so here we are. We're but, for everyone. But honestly, um I hope yeah. you can try cow one day. It's absolutely it's incredible. Amazing. You won't eat anything. Else again. I also will say I got it shipped during quarantine and it came within like a day. Yeah, they so, overnight it. Oh, it's literally the next it's come day. Straight we got to it. your door. Like, talk about. Because I was like, oh, Christy, oh, all right, I'll try it. Yeah. I, I don't think I'll order anything else. Like, I will never ship another meat company besides Cow again. They got me. Okay. So that's, I'm hooked. <laughs> that's National USA delivery, then, I take it, then. Anywhere Correct. in the. Yeah. All Anywhere right. in the U.S. We'll work on the overseas. Right. Yeah. We might, we might have to get, send something special over to he, over to us here in London. How's that? You know. How about we uh, flat, we'll flat. 
<laughs> we're the special shipment. We're the coming. special delivery. Whether or not we have Cal with us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, is there steak on the barbecue yet? Oh my God. Well, wait, let's show off the. Yeah. Grill so um, we actually have a friend here with us who we'd love to yes. introduce. Ah. Um, get on in here. We got him hooked on Cal. Yes. Meet our favorite. <laughs> literally. Oh, there we go. This Debbie, is Chef Doug Pickering. He is doing? literally, I met him. How long ago? Uh, way years, long ago. years and years ago out here in Dallas. And yep. he's just been so amazing. Kind of shown me the ropes of his barbecue-ness. I got him hooked on cow. Yeah, she yep. sure did. She dirt it. So now, now all I eat is cow. Well, not all I eat, but all the beef I eat is 99% cow. So, uh, okay, okay. One. And what's your Instagram, <laughs> mate? What's your, where are you, what's your, what are you on Instagram? What's your handle on Instagram, mate? Uh, DWP BBQ. DWP BBQ. Oh, got a God. ring to it, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Are you already following him? Yeah, you've already reposted some of my stuff. Woo! <laughs> Just a reminder. Hey! <laughs> gotcha. It's all connected. Anyways, we have right. him here. Um, I'm, I'm damage control. I'm here to make sure they don't catch my house on fire. And exactly. they also cook this cow steak perfectly, um, which is very important because Wagyu is very tricky to cook. How are you proposing to cook the Wagyu steak? It's quite thick, so as far as I can tell. So, how are you proposing to cook this one? Yeah, well, so we're gonna... in, in Texas, that's probably not considered thick, but <laughs> you know, um, it's a, it's a. We're, we're going to cook it on a soapstone um, on, on the KJ. Oh. Right. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah a little meat make, on the make, old make, shoe. Make, make, make a little, little meat crumb there. <laughs> um, we're, we're, ba we're basically going to sear it on both sides. I'm going to let these girls do the cooking. And I'm just going to do the coaching and. Um, I'm, I, so I feel nice. like we—they've got it down. So, um, so we're, we're cooking it on a soapstone. It's our first time. It's, it's my first time. First cooking. time. I'm so excited. Um, it has uh, more yeah. thermal heat. Yeah. And um, thermal mass. Thermal so, mass. More thermal, thermal, mass, thermal, thermal mass, mass than cast and iron. And a cast iron, so it um, pulls like for me, stays longer, hot longer, cooks yeah. more evenly. Yeah. Easier to clean. Which cleaning? We love a good easy clean. Yeah, cast iron is. A it can be dishwash. Not fun to clean, and right? this is dishwasher safe. So that's what we're doing. Yeah. We like a no mess, more eat situation over you here. Ready? Okay. Okay. So yes, yeah. you're ready. Yeah. Check it on. Check it on. Do it. Do it. Do it. We're do hungry. It. We're hungry. We're hungry. <laughs> right, now we're gonna base it with on both sides with olive oil. So you show. All right. Uh -huh. Here's our. Here's our. <laughs> this is our display. Give me a little flipperoo. Right. So, have you seen it earlier? Is it and is it at room temperature? It's oh. at room temperature. Is it at room temperature? And we have not seasoned it yet. No seasoning. Um, Wagyu, especially this one, needs nothing but salt and pepper. So, really? we're gonna okay. salt it. Salt, pepper at the end. All right, perfect. <laughs> at the end. Do a little on top. Oh. All right. Salt side down. Do we have wait, wait, no, let's get a little bit more. More. Yeah. Come Here on. comes a. Come on. You okay. Salt. Okay. 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 <laughs> I love salt. I have a problem with salt. All right. She maintains the salt wall. Okay. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Okay. Salt we got side this. down. Yeah. Salt so, side down. So is this going to cook? Is, is this going to do? Are you going to do this? What's called a reverse sear, or is it just? No, I think we only do the reverse sear on the tomahawk. We're just. We're just yeah, we're cooking just it on a, a simple, simple sear on each side for a couple oh, minutes. Okay, and okay. We just oiled that. All right, here she goes. The soap. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh. Oh. Yeah, Throw it on there. Listen oh, to this. Pew! <laughs> it's all about. <laughs> you got to do the insane. under the leg because we're sick of Salt Bay. You got to throw it under the we're leg. We're creating our new Salt Bay. <laughs> You gotta have fun with it. If you're not having fun, you're not cooking, I, right? Exactly. It's not a barbecue with a bit of fun. <laughs> yeah. So, how long are you gonna leave that on there for? A couple max minutes. Two minutes. two minutes. Two minutes on each side, max. Okay. Two minutes on but each look, side. that sound. Can we just take a moment to appreciate that? Right. So, in, 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 in the studio. Oh, we have wine too. Cheers. Yeah. I don't have my glass, so I'm just. <laughs> yeah. Look at our cute little cow steak koozies. Uh, what do you call and, them? I'm sorry, our blondes. Koozies. Well. Koozies. They koozies. keep they keep the the drinks cold. A koozie. I'm not sure about a bottle of wine, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't think that 
happening halfway. I love your style. Uh, you you're so. Drink, <laughs> want you want your drink, baby? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh so, man. All right. So so that's sizzling away. Okay. So you're based in Dallas now. Dallas is a bit of a uh, cow town slash barbecue joint, really, too, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Now, do you, and and you guys obviously you eat out a lot. A lot. We out. A lot. a lot. Too much. Way too much. We should be cooking in the backyard we like cook this more too, often. But like we eat out a lot. Too many restaurants to try. Well, this is what I want to know. What's your favorite barbecue restaurant in Dallas, Texas? If you're allowed to say. Mm. Maybe how's that? Or top three. Top three. Uh Pecan Lodge. Um Peak. Uh, uh, what? Ferris Wheelers and Ferris Wheelers is amazing. I've had Ferris Wheelers. Um, Terry Black. Wheelers. Terry Black. And also, fun fact: Doug started Ferris Wheelers. Here in Dallas. <laughs> Mate, I so, so love. We're in good hands. And now I've retired to just letting blondes cook in my backyard. Yeah, yeah. he just <laughs> basically rents out his backyard to us. <laughs> All right, flip time. <laughs> in the dream. I Look wish you could that. see this. Can you see it? All right. Oh, what have we got here? Okay. Have you flipped your steak yet? What was that? Have you flipped your steak yet? We yeah. just flipped it. Okay. Okay. We just flipped her. Mm -hmm. I wish I could show you how well, up close, but <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. I'm loving the sound of the sizzle. While we're on this, I'm going to take a picture of it. <laughs> It's so beautiful. I wish you could like see it like, <laughs> close up, you know. <laughs> so if, if 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 you're in if you're in Dallas and you also travel, do you, do you, do you, do you, I know you eat at a lot of different places, but do you get around to a few barbecue joints as well? I've seen ribs on your page. I've seen uh, 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 beefies. I've seen a lot of good steaks. Where do you go for a good steak? Where do you go? Where, where, what's your what's your in go to? Dallas? Yeah. Well. Out in, in the States. How's that? Let's make it oh, bigger. I mean, Ooh, no. um, in Dallas, Albernays, for sure. Um, okay. They actually serve um, cow steaks, sausages, wieners, wagon Ooh, wieners. Where else in New York, too? <laughs> um, New York. What do you like in New York? What was going to say? Oh, um, cow steaks, uh, wagyu is also served in Delmonico's in which Manhattan, is which is huge. Uh, Great place. I've heard about um, this place, yeah. I just moved to Miami, so I got to find a place in Miami that's delicious. Well, doesn't Salt Bay have a place in my, Miami? Doesn't he have a restaurant there? Salt she Bay don't... does. And you know what? I honestly, not to be mean, I think it's overrated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's just I haven't my tried, opinion. but it's okay. It's more of like a, a place to be like, oh, a destination. I, yeah. It's like scene. you know? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because he, he, he was going to set one up in London, but uh, something to do he, he, with importing the beef or something, because he has his own cows. So, you know, I don't, I don't know what happened there, but I'm going to meet him one day. Well, here Switching we go. sides. We're Julia's taking over. Sorry, Coach had, to intervene. <laughs> Coach had to step in. <laughs> yeah. Right. You can see all four sides of the stick. Right. And you can see all four sides of the stick. Right. 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 Go ahead and hold it on there for a second. Let's let it actually this, sear. Yeah. Um, don't move, and don't move it. Just where's your favorite steakhouse? Where's my favorite steakhouse? Well, mm -hmm. like, like you say, there's, there, there's a lot of different steaks, right? So... I like in London, there's the casino here. There's a chef here, Chef Yanni, and he does USDA prime steaks, right? So okay. he brings them in from, uh, I think, different ones. Brings them in from Montana, and oh. they're a pretty damn good steak. And Why Montana? Really... Uh, it, it's you know? his preference. He's, he's, he's the judge of the World Steak Championships, so, you know, I'm, I'm happy with his choice there. So um, he does a really, really good steak. There's... Steaks here, they have, uh, I don't know if you've heard about the Basque country in northern Spain, but they have old dairy cows. They're right. cows I'm that are full. Oh, let it rest. We're going to let it rest. Are you going to cover it whilst you let it rest, or are you going to leave it uncovered? This is a debate I have with We're going to leave it uncovered. Oh, wow. Oh, the uh, smell. Honestly, I can smell it. I'm literally <laughs> sniffing off the camera. Like this. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, my God. That, I'm, 
Honestly, I want to lick this so bad, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to wait. That is amazing. <laughs> so when you tell your friend that gets the steak from Montana, that... Mm, yeah. He does some good steaks there. You get these good steaks, uh, these old dairy cows in a, pla in, 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 in a place called uh, Sagardi. They do a great steak. There's a steakhouse here called uh, um, STK, and it has oh, a place in New York. STKs. Uh, I just moved from New York. I've, I lived there 10 years. I went to STK a bunch. Okay, yeah. It, it's, so good. It's, good, it's a good fun steak, you know? Yeah. You know, a steak so, a good so the fun. way you're describing STK, I would describe Salt Bay. I agree to that. Oh, okay. Like, okay, it is, yeah. they have good quality steaks, but it's, it's a very scenic place. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's more to be scenic, to be seen over quality of the meat, I would say. Okay, and then probably the number one steak you can get in London is is, is a place called Hawksmoor, and it's what it's, is it? Ox Oxmoor. Hawk H A W K Hawksmoor. Oh, Hawksmoor. Okay, got it. Got it. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Somebody's even typed that in there. Hawksmoor. How's that? Hawksmoor. Come up oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Panines. And, Good, and man. That, Good man. That's a steak experience. They've got everything. Everything goes with their steak. Everything. It's it's the wine. It's the uh, the beer, the condiments, everything revolves around the steak, and, and it's a whole steak experience. It's, it's a wonderful mm. place. All right, we're uh, going. Oh, we're getting burnt here. I so, light up in flames. <laughs> All for the <laughs> lives. We'll do anything for barbecue, lads. Get lit on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's not too much uh, synthetic material in your outfit, or you'll... Uh, yeah. yeah. Christy. I'll hold this. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna wrap the steak in foil now after we let it rest for a little bit. All right, and All then right. then we can do it. Post it to me. Yeah, and then we're yeah exactly. <laughs> I'll put this on here. Oh so, yeah. So we can steak. Which one do you work with? The sauce is like this steak. What on your temp right? are we cooking the steak? One twenty-five. 125, okay. Uh, Just as many years as Cow has been on yeah. and operated. Woo! <laughs> Check that out. that? Full circle, baby. <laughs> I That's mean, I'm just no. saying. I just said, I go, thank God it's 125 years. If it were 126, I would never remember. <laughs> <laughs> you had a descriptor. Jesus. <laughs> I just, you know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you never know what I'll say, so it's got to be right. I know uh, that or <laughs> send me out. What is that in Celsius? You know, I am not a math gal, Whoa. so let's uh, doesn't that. matter. Um, that's what Google <laughs> just type into Google. I'd say I'd say you're looking at medium rare, so I reckon you've gone for about fifty four Celsius. Okay, fifty four <laughs> Celsius, Daniel. That's what Celsius. I was gonna say. It's so weird you said that. Okay, is somebody already has somebody said it's bit, yeah. Well, it should be fifty four is medium rare, so you know. <laughs> Uh, that, that, that's what 51. You've been well, corrected. Epic treats. <laughs> You've been corrected. <laughs> boom, boom. So what are, you, what are you girls planning on doing in Dallas for the rest of the day then after you've had your steak? Okay. We, we got a, I'm only here until tomorrow. tomorrow. We're so packing it in. We are um, staying with Doug after this, and we're cooking up a cow steaks um, wet, uh, tomahawk. tomahawk. Oh. Like, it's... Bits. Beautiful. Do you want to see it? Yeah. Do you want to see it? Well, please. Yes. You should get it. It's in. But besides that, we're doing a lot today, like cooking here with him, because obviously he's great, and we need to use his talent and yeah. get the benefit of eating all of it, obviously. <laughs> um, and then, God, I mean, she wants to take me to her favorite Chinese restaurant for some noodles and soup dumplings. Um, okay. And we're, we have um, truffles that we just got shipped in, so we're going to do that with some bagel we got a lot going we're just cramming it all in honestly we ate like five times yesterday like big meals we had 25 tacos 25 tacos yeah we've just been on a steady like like how, how do you do it how do you do it like, like, to be honest even... god bless metabolisms for now i don't know we we, we yeah just she love says food. that for her not me oh please <laughs> no we just love food you know when you love food how can you say no i want to try a million things that we're always eating and you know look at this oh. Isn't that beautiful oh. it's literally the size of my head i oh. know right oh. praise the universe praise right? the universe it, that... it's, it's like, like look at that marbling oh 
I know. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh. oh. We wish um, we could send you some of it. Like, you I know, wish I could just we'll give like, you a I wish I could just bite. drop it through the phone, but <laughs> we're going to be enjoying it later. <laughs> we'll send you pics. Oh my gosh. Sorry. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Stop Jack, dribbling. True. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> hey, drool meats over here. We get it, you know? But. So is, is, is your steak ready? Is your cow steak ready? Is, is no, we're letting it rest for about 10 minutes. So we've got about. What five minutes? Four or five minutes? Four or five minutes, left? Five minutes yeah. left. Okay, okay, okay. You're ju you just want it's... in on it. You're trying to rush our process because it looks so good. Uh uh. Oh, yeah. savage! Exactly. We know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so... so we're just letting it rest so it will continue to cook, and then we will slice it for you so you can see the and then eat it obviously. Perfect. All right, all right. So, so. You're not doing steak then, right? From a point of view of barbecue, what kind of barbecue do you like? What barbecue food do you like? I've seen ribs, pictures. Oh, I like short rib, rib on the bone. Uh huh. Is that how you say that? I, I got to be honest. There's nothing. Beef, beef I... short rib. That's my favorite thing. Beef short yeah, rib. The one that we had from that we love. ate off the bone. Li I like meat. I'm a pulled that falls pork off the bone. Too. I love meat that love just like pork. falls off. Yeah. So like with... ragu. Like, I love just, like, everything. Like... Yeah, yeah. When I was younger, though, like pulled pork was my. Oh, Favorite. you know what else I really like? Beef burnt ends. Mm. Oh. Come to mama and, and a good brisket. Oh. Oh, You're talking brisket. dirty to me now. <laughs> You're talking dirty to me now. Beef burnt ends. I know. Oh. I'm like, I, even I'm like, oh my god. I don't know if it's the temperature or if it's the meat we're talking about. I'm getting worked up. <laughs> we're gonna have to have a cold shower out in the cold weather. <laughs> you know, barbecue will do that to you. Barbecue Am I right? We'll get you. We, we already have the meat sweats. Cold shower before. During and after, <laughs> you uh, should ever just eat barbecue in the shower, okay? <laughs> <laughs> right, and, and and what sort of um, have you seen any innovative barbecue? Something a little bit different over where you are, maybe like I mean, hopefully today we create some different content for you. Yeah, we're trying to like but, you know people always just cut a steak. Like we're trying to think outside the box. Yeah, you pour yourself some more wine with like Me some too. with really good um beef too like yeah we, so did you already tell him i heard you say what we're no that we're cooking stuff out no i didn't give it away what do you want to give away what we're doing oh i don't know if not, we should share not. yet i won't tell anyone i promise yeah do we, you won't <laughs> tell anyone just everyone watching the live <laughs> what's um, what's your favorite thing yeah you tell so us you, something we told you what's your favorite barbecue Ooh. dish I, I i'm a big fan of pulled pork i like pork okay. in general i like i like baby back ribs st louis ribs I like, I like, you were saying before, I fall off the bone. I like them saucy, juicy, like messy. Mm. Why are you talking sauce, dirty girl. to us? We love sauce. Well, any, it has to be dripping in sauce for me. I'm such yeah. a like, have you ever had pork belly burnt ends? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're, they're, what do you think? They're, 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 they're like, it's like something sort of dropped out of heaven and landed on your oh, face. Oh, thigh touching good. I mean, that's, that's how cow, cow steaks wagyu is. <laughs> <laughs> thigh thigh touching. Touching good. It's worth dropped getting out of heaven, melt in your mouth like butter. Yeah. Oh, like oh, oh. Break. It's just. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. And, and you've got a rose there. That's... We got a rose, yeah. Yeah. Our... Well, also, do you see our cute blonde sweet cups? <gasps> that's, right. that's our old logo, but that's old cute. logo, but still similar. Yeah. It's in... Oh, I'd love to have some over here, mate. So, do you judge a place on, like, what do you judge a barbecue place on? Like their their ribs, like a specific dish, like their like yeah. sides, you know? Because like well, I have like places that I go to, and I'm like I love that specific thing, but I would not go there yeah. for that. Like the mac and cheese, like oh, there are some places that don't know how to make a mac and cheese, like cornbread. Or, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I I like a bit. Of, I'm I'm quite a bit of an experienced kind of guy, so I like I like the atmosphere, everything around it. I like you know the service or, or of things going on as well like like obviously the food's great so here's a good example uh uh, uh you know oh, it's hard to describe but yeah I, I like the feeling of the barbecue around you i like this yeah like the when it has a story or something to it like the story to it yeah um i got a question have you ever been to the um the like well, I don't know the exact name but like the the cookout the smoke out in Madison Square Park in New York they they stopped doing No way no I've never been Okay so yeah. how do I get there 
when it, first off, they didn't do it obviously this year, or, or I don't even think they did it last year. But basically, they used to. Let's say used to. Hopefully, it's not past tense. They used to take over Madison Square Park in Manhattan, and it would be barbecue from all over. I want to say Rodney. What's his last name? Rodney Scott. Rodney Scott. I think he's North Carolina. Or, I, I hope I'm not messing up because he deserves like me. All the but like he's his ribs. They're um. They have the, the, the dry mop. He does like the dry mop method. Okay. Wet mop, wet mop, not dry mop. Wet mop, wet. but I mean, like, kind of knows what talking about. you know, I'm kind of, whatever. I know how to eat. I don't know how to talk about it, okay? He, his ribs are insane, but basically they take over the whole park and it's, you should see the smoke that comes up in this, in Manhattan. It's just such a cool site anyway, regardless being in such a, you know, concrete jungle. And then you have barbecue, but it every from around the U.S. like they bring people in, and you can get like pulled pork, brisket, like the whole pig. It's insanity, uh, and you just go around, and you can get like you know you get passes, and you go through each place. But I yeah. spent a day there, and I I think I went to like at least ten different like tents. I didn't walk home. Let me just tell you that much. And I lived like five blocks away at the time. <laughs> Like, it was worth the pain of eating so much. Okay, we're ready. Oh, we're getting in. Oh, watch out. I have a very sharp knife. Okay, so we shouldn't be doing. Um, Killer, you want to answer, Aaron, what is brisket? That's not brisket. No, uh, I just said, he just said, what uh, is. Someone just asked, what is brisket? Are you going to cut it next to my face, though? Yeah. Okay. All right, okay. we're going to cut, cut well. We're going to be. <laughs> I'm, like, nervous, and I'm so hot right now. This we're going to try something new. All right, all right. We're gonna cut it in the air, and we have a shun cutlery knife. It That's you really don't nice. don't try this at don't home. Don't try this at home, kids. I've got the first aid kit behind me. You need to hold your hands, here, please. Here, here, here. Okay. Okay, you guys ready? And all right, yeah. Here we go. I'll just sit here sniffing it. And just just pray. Oh, Ooh. hello. Gorgeous. Yeah. The only see. reason I'm touching the steak is because we're Stay eating closer. it. Okay, That's good. Cool. Right. Oh my god. This is really hard to cut in the air. I'm sorry, y'all. <gasps> we hold a slice towards the camera when you get a moment. Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh my. It's like butter. Oh. It's li it even feels like butter. I'm literally holding this with my chin. This is so worth it. Get that knife away from my head. <laughs> Just stay Dripping still. with juice, too. Just stay still, <gasps> please. Look at that. That looks beautifully cooked. I love the lip. Yeah. Bit of a crust yeah, around the edge. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna stop here. For safety, yeah. for safety we reasons. Made it this far. We made it this far. No hands cut off. Oh and my gosh. I don't know how you put the knife over somewhere else. Yep. Yep. That, I got Look it. at that. Okay, wait. Hold it down really quick so I can like actually okay. position it. I'm way too excited. <laughs> oh my! All right, all right. I want to. I want to hear the description as you have a taste of this. <gasps> oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Y'all oh. see that? Send me some photos. Send me some photos. I was just going to say, I'm like, we need a, my camera's right over there. You want mm. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is worth the trip. Okay. Okay. And now are we going in for the taste test Ready? now? You're going to see how, how we get the pictures online. You're going to take some text. <laughs> oh, that's what stunning. behind the scenes. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Click. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Ready? Mm. Mm. Oh, oh my. Oh. oh. No words. Next level. All right. Sensational. Sensational is the term. Sensational. Oh, no, you know my favorite word? Phenomenal. Mm. Phenomenal. Can you, huh? Can you Phenomenal. See? Can you see how perfect this is? No. Oh. That like is beautiful. Mm. That is wonderfully steak. Very well that done. Very... Mm. Oh. Oh, okay, Google, book me a ticket from London to Dallas. Now. The salt is perfect. Oh, my God. I can't. Oh, I'm busy hang eating steak. Every second <laughs> I, like, take a bite down, it's just, like, more juices in my Like, mouth. do you see this? Like, oh. can you see that? Yes, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit dark, but you know. Mm, okay. Whoa. How about now? How about now? Wait, you gotta get it in the light. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm ruining. I'm ruining your meal. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. All right. Well, I I should I should probably let you ladies uh, crack on and finish dinner now, and 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 enjoy. Oh, oh my god! Oh. Wow. This is why we can't diet. We just shove food in each other's faces. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is they haven't even offered me a bite oh, yet. Oh, so, I mean, oh. Get in here. Get in here. Where is he? Where is he? No, you got to be in the camera. Come How on. How do we do? How do we Sorry, do? I'm do, really shy. Uh, <laughs> this is our cooking coach. We passed you. Guys, we did it. it. <laughs> Thank you very much. That That is excellent. Well, I should probably let you crack on and have some dinner. Finish that. Oh well, God. there's not much left of my steak. But Thank you for having us on. on. Thank you so much for having us on. And the day that cow steaks ships over seas, you'll be the first to try. Oh. Or just come over here. Just or, come just, here. or just get on the plate, you know. I'm there, I'm there. Actually, there's a question. I was thinking of going to, um, I want to go to Charleston in South Carolina. <gasps> oh, we love Charleston. The barbecue there, no joke. I would yeah. I would love yes. to road trip through and try out a bunch of, so, like, hole so, in the yeah. wall, famous places. Carolina barbecue is um, vinegar-based barbecue. Oh. I'm sure you already know that, I'm assuming. I love vinegar. Um. It's so funny because I'm actually not a barbecue sauce fan. And the first time I had, um, it's called Smithfield's Barbecue. When yeah. I tell you it's the best barbecue. <gasps> mm. So. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but I did it. Too. I don't know what that was, but like, is that like a. <laughs> I'm not sure. Something happened. But, anyways, but the, yeah. um, Carolina, Carolina barbecue is incredible. Um, very, very different than, very different than Texas barbecue. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm dead keen. I think that's my, 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 my go-to barbecue trip next, I think, in, in, in the USA. We'll meet you there. Well, we just invited ourselves. We just so invited ourselves. So. <laughs> we'll see you there. <laughs> okay, then, well, I have to say a big thank you for, 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 for joining in and, and, and hanging out and cooking an, an absolutely amazing steak lady. That's beautiful. Awesome. They didn't burn the house down either, so. We passed. <laughs> yeah, we we passed, passed y'all. Thank you so much. Thanks for, for letting us. us be a part of this. It Thank was so you. much fun. No worries. Wish no you worries. We tried what we were cooking, but it was amazing. Uh, Soon enough. enough. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, and have a wonderful, wonderful evening. And thank you so much, lady. You too. See ya. Bye, Bye. Rain. <laughs> mm. Thank you.